I'm here thanks to Professor Ann Bolin from University of Delaware's History Department. She asked me to research and write the biographical document about this evening's inductee, the late Blanche William Stubbs. Blanche Stubbs, born in Wisconsin in 1872, hailed from Howard University before settling in Wilmington. Her encounters with segregation and perverse inequalities toward blacks began in Washington, D.C. and Wilmington, Delaware. She was an educator at the Howard School, the first school in Delaware to offer a four-year high school for African Americans. After her marriage to Dr. J. Bacon Stubbs, she resigned and became a lifelong activist. She founded the Garrett Settlement House in 1912, along with her husband and colleagues from Howard School, and she served Wilmington's African American community, supported uh, and later became vice president of the Wilmington NAACP. She devoted time to women's clubs work. And she started the City Federation of Women's Clubs that focused on African American youth. And this prompted the opening of the Delaware Industrial School for Colored Girls. America, as we have heard a couple times now, is readying for a celebration for the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. Blanche Stubbs was part of that milestone of struggle, agitation, and protest. When Delaware suffragists organized Wilmington's first mass suffrage parade, she served as marshal to the colored section, uh, which marched behind the white suffragists. But the black women and the white suffragists had been working together for quite some time, matter of fact, since 1848. Stubbs opened the Garrett Settlement House to the Congressional Union to recruit ward-level suffrage support in Wilmington because at that time the Delaware State Legislature had refused to ratify the 19th Amendment. Suffrage now won, Stubbs protested Southern states' disenfranchisement of black women and confronted the National Women's Party Chair, Alice Paul, on the refusal to support African American women's voting rights. She was the state chair of the black-led National Republican Women's Auxiliary Committee attended, at, and she attended at least one Pan-African American conference in New York. Successfully, also, she kept the film, The Birth of a Nation, out of the local theaters in Wilmington. And Blanche paved the way for all of the Delaware's public accommodations to be integrated. At her passing, inductee Blanche William Stubbs, a once outsider, to Wilmington was eulogized as one of the most prominent women in Wilmington's African-American community. And now I would be pleased to introduce a short video about the late Blanche William Stubbs. I think the most important thing to learn from Blanche Stubbs is she was a polished educator. She came from a very basically good background, okay? But she did not allow that to puff her up, so to speak. Um, she was willing to roll her sleeves up and do whatever was necessary to advance her people, advance African Americans. I like to describe women like Blanche Stubbs as being sort of diplomats or ambassadors to white women. Um, and many African American women learned how to sort of do things for their communities in that fashion. So through the Women's Christian Temperance Union, which had endorsed women's suffrage back in the 1880s, she would go to their meetings as the only African-American woman present. And she'd be invited to speak to the audience. And she would describe the conditions that kids um, faced. Because they were in the community, they were there, they were among the people, and they were still moving. But at the same time, they reached up and touched those folks and had connections with those folks that were above them in higher places, but they never lost touch with the folks there down at the bottom because they wanted to always pull them up. It was about uplifting. She was very, very outspoken about, again, the rights that were denied to blacks, period. But then when she moved into the women's rights, when they, she saw that the 19th Amendment here in Wilmington was being rejected, she stepped up. You're talking about a time when blacks were not accepted in many areas, okay? We are talking about a different um, discriminatory practices that she was not used to. Her first experiences with vast and perverse inequality 
was Washington, D.C., and then Wilmington, Delaware. She and her colleagues started a settlement house at 8th and Buttonwood around 1911. The Garrett House, I think that was one of the main things that stuck out because so many things were done there for black folks. I mean, they had programs for children, for adults, um, activities, classes. Um, when people needed a place to have meetings, to push the movements forward, to, to do something to improve the black community, to uplift, they happened at the Garrett House. I just hope that this is this the beginning because our young folks need to know about those folks that came before them and the shoulders that they're standing on because they're standing on shoulders like Blanche William Stubbs. H. Gordon Fleming could not be present this evening, so he sent these remarks to be shared. Blanche William Stubbs has always been an influential and inspirational figure in our family. My mother, Patricia, has fond memories of family gatherings and meeting her grandmother, Branch. As new details about Blanche's life emerged, through my research and the efforts of Carol Scott, Ann Bolin, and team, her life and prolific social activism became more apparent from her education at DC's Howard University and her teaching career to the founding of the Garrett Settlement House in Wilmington, Blanche's life story is being rediscovered. Blanche co-founded the Wilmington Equal Suffrage Study Clubs in 1914 and in 1916 became the first president of the Delaware Federation of Colored Women's Clubs. These are just some of her social justice and policy changing achievements. My mother, Patricia Stubbs Fleming, and I would like to thank Melanie Rose Levin and the governor's office, Ann Bolin, Carol Scott, and the Hall of Fame of Delaware Women's Committee for inducting our Blanche William Stubbs into the Hall of Fame. The Williams and Stubbs family are extremely honored. <laughs> 